everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Elite Series 84 2-in-1 figure review on the brand new Elite 84 Rhea Ripley and Angel Garza. We got the first time in the line Angel Garza, which I'm pretty excited about, and then we got one of my favorite women's talents in all of professional wrestling, Rhea Ripley here today. I know we got her basic, but I never got her basic figure, so getting her Elite in here, an Elite that we've known about over a year, I'm pretty sure. Didn't we see her render image? like over a year ago or at like Comic-Con in 2020 or so. It's been a while. It's definitely been a while since we saw her render image, but we finally have it in full plastic form for us. So I'm excited for them, guys. If you'd like to grab either of these, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS when going over there to save yourself some money when you are shopping over there for all of your wrestling figures. But Rhea Ripley and Angel Garza look pretty good. I like their positions in the packaging. Hopefully it doesn't lead to any loose joints or anything. On the side, you got a beautiful image of Rhea and Angel Garza here. On the back you got different images of the talent as well as the bio read. If you'd like to read it you can go ahead and pause it right now. Rest of the figures in the wave. Same image on the back as on the side and that pretty much does it for our packaging on Rhea Ripley and Angel Garza. So let's go ahead and Rhea Ripley guards our guard angels and rip, the, rip, them out of the, rip them out of the packaging. So here is Ripley and Garza out of the packaging, guys, and I like what we got going on with them. Some unique things going on with these. Feeling pretty good in the hands so far, which I'm pretty excited about. You guys know that that is a big thing for me when reviewing figures. How good do they feel in the hand? How well do they move around? All of those different things. Not the biggest Angel Garza fan, but I am excited to add him into the collection, add him into our expanding WWE main roster, and then Rhea Ripley, I've been waiting on her figure for a long ass time. So I'm super excited for her. I cannot wait to get into it, guys. So first, let's dive in to Angel Garza and these removable pants and then we'll move on and take a closer look at Rhea Ripley and everything that she's got. So let's go ahead and get started. So for Angel Garza's accessories, guys, you're probably wondering why the blue hell he got the whole figure here, which we'll get into. If you guys want to see his interchangeable hands, he does come with mic holding hands, and then he comes with these entrance hands where his hands are kind of out wide, or you guys know the Kawhi Leonard ricochet massive handshaking hands is what I like to call them. I also notice like his mic holding hands look big. Is it me? Or they, they look kind of big, but the whole reason we got the full things here is so I, I can show you guys these pants. You guys know his whole gimmick. He starts wrestling with pants, and then halfway through the match, he'll rip them off there and he's got the Garza logo here with wings. It looks really good and everything in the gold pattern. I like the colors. Garza on the ass cheeks right there and basically it's got Velcro on both sides so you can literally just rip them straight down and that's pretty damn impressive. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these pants. Like holy crap they're pretty damn cool. They are together on one leg right there and all you gotta do to get them back together is just line up the you know the Velcro and I'm not gonna lie to you it, it's kind of confusing at first when you do it but the, the only way I can tell you to do it is to put it on the figure that's the easiest way to do it because you guys know you can you can put it on his butt cheeks right there and then this comes forward underneath the crotch and so you'll line up both sides like that after running it underneath the crotch and then you would then you know velcro it here all the way down and then velcro it here all the way down that's the easiest way to do it when it when he's not wearing the pants it's like borderline impossible to line it up at least for me it is and even when he's wearing it it's pretty hard to do i, I don't know it's kind of confusing but once you get it on there it does look good and then like the way it rips off is crazy because it rips off in perfect like it rips off exactly the way it does in real life which is kind of cool so i think that's awesome so there you go they're together and he's walking out and then he's like ah oh, and then he rips them off and look it like looks like he ripped them off for real because i've worn pants like this before they're not usually velcro they usually have buttons that hold them together and they just rip off really nice so there's his cloth pants that are removable obviously with the velcro which is very impressive huge shout out to mattel for that i think they did a great job and then you have his interchangeable hands. All right, guys, so diving into Garza, starting out at the top, I think this head sculpt's pretty good. I like it. I think that it does capture his likeness for sure. I like the ponytail little look that he's got going on. I think I would have preferred maybe the swooped over or slick back hairstyle, but I still like it. I still like this look of Garza. Nothing too crazy with it. I, since he's kind of a smaller guy, I understand why they use this torso. You know, it's like the Chavo Guerrero smaller style torso, the Daniel Bryan style torso. I think it works in his case. I will say that the hands look big to me for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is the case, but the blue on the trunks looks good. I like the, the halo over 
the G is genius because his name's Angel, Angel, Halo, Heaven, get it, great. I like the font of the G with the gold on the back. You got the same look here. You would think it would say Garza like on his pants, but I like the G with the wings and the Halo again. Angel, wings, Garza, Heaven, Halo, G, Garza, Angel, Heaven. You get it, Angels in Heaven, you get stuff. We got the Adam Cole leg mold going on, black tape underneath the open blue knee pads, Angel, Wing, G, Halo, Angels, Wings, and Heaven, and you get the idea. Last but not least, we have the white boots, and overall, I like this formula for Garza. I think it's actually a really good formula because it allows for a lot of posability, and since he's like 5'9", it really works well. I like it. I think it works perfectly. Really good posability and stuff. Again, I wish I was a bigger Garza fan. I'm just not. I don't. I, I can't explain it. I'm just not a big Garza fan. I think Andrade's better, and I, I, I just am not a huge Garza guy, but there's the figure. I think, it, I think it's pretty damn football solid. And then for your Angel Garza figure comparisons, guys, here's Angel Garza compared to Zelina Vega and Andrade. I think these all scale pretty good together. Maybe Andrade's a little bit too tall, but one thing I thought about is if you took this head sculpt and put it onto that blue Elite Sin Cara with the blue and gold, you might be able to make a sick-ass tag team gear. I'm not sure if that, if that Sin Cara figure had all the tattoos. Maybe you could get rid of them somehow or something, but that is a fix-up and a custom deal that kind of popped in my head. You could switch the arms, put some stuff together, and you can make a really cool tag team Angel Garza. Garza and Andrade for a pick fed or something, but all three of these look good together and everything like that. Obviously, Zelina isn't with the company, but if you want to pair these two together and put them all three together, there you go. I think it works out great, and yeah, Andrade is more superior in my opinion, but uh, yeah, maybe you want to do something else. And then for Garza's articulation, guys, he is on ball joints, and he does have the double jointed knees, of course. That was a little stiffy liffy for some reason, but yeah, he, I mean, he can do all the typical things. Anything an Adam Cole can do, he can do as well, because they have the same exact moment molds and everything, or molds, not moles. So you have moles? So for Rhea Ripley's accessories, guys, she doesn't come with a ton, but she does come with what I think is necessary. She comes with her entrance vest. It's got the nice stud details. It's got the nice hang chains going on. She does have her Australian flag back there, which looks pretty good. I like all the sculpts we got going on. It looks good and everything. If we want to see what it looks like on the figure, we can go ahead and check that out now. And I think it fits the figure perfectly. I don't think that you're going to have any problems with that. It looks really good. Fits the figure well and everything. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty damn perfect to me, Brad. I don't know why you'd have any problems with that. It comes off relatively easy, too. Just pull the arms back, and then you could just slide it off the figure like so. And that's pretty much what you get for that. Oh, my God. For a sec, I thought her arm came off. That scared the hell out of me. Anyways, out of the packaging, she also comes with mic holding hands. And then her interchangeable hands are going to be the, uh, you know, her entrance hands, which are pretty much rock and roll hands. They look good. They got good sculpt on it. She's got her black nail polish on there. I like these hands. They look good. Don't have any problems with it. So, yeah, that does it for Rhea Ripley's accessories. So, diving into Rhea Ripley, guys, with this head sculpt, I think the likeness is uncanny. I think it definitely looks like Rhea Ripley. Again, I would have preferred a different hair mold, like not her hair. I know she wears her hair straight back, but in the middle of matches and stuff, it ends up getting messy and kind of like off to the side or off to one side or, you know, kind of crazy. I think I would have preferred that look better than this, just straight back, but I understand it. Or maybe like giving us an interchangeable head sculpt with the tongue out and the hair messy or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, nonetheless, I still like it a lot. She's got her choker on here that I think you could take off if you were to pop the head off with a hairdryer or something, but the likeness is good. I like the top. It says R.A. for Rhea, but it's you guys know it's cut off right there, so it doesn't say Rhea. Ripley looks good right there. Ripley's, believe it or not, you got the... Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. You guys will notice the waist swivel has the belt attached. You guys will notice the belt is a part of the torso. That's pretty interesting right there. You do have her wrist gauntlets that are removable when you take off the hands. They got good sculpt and, and buttons and stuff, and these pants are are great. I love all the chains and the zippers and the studs and the just everything going on with these legs is highly detailed. Like all these individual rings and like buttons and stuff. You even got some studs on the butt cheeks, even a stud in the middle right there. You got the stuff going on the crotch. You got the, I mean dude, they went all out on these legs. I'm not sure if maybe they had more stuff on the back of these pants. I don't know if Rhea had stuff on the back of these pants, but I would hope that she would only have it on the front and then they just, you know, this is, this is accurate. I hope that there wasn't more on the back and they just didn't add it but nonetheless all the sculpts look good i think they did a really great job on this it feels good it's detailed it's got texture to it boots look really great with all these buckles and stuff like damn bro that's a lot of detail packing in there with the but like good god in heaven that's impressive that's very impressive i like this figure a lot so far i really enjoy it in the hand if you if you know if you own this figure already you know exactly what i'm talking about but nonetheless man what a great looking figure and uh, let's get into some compa comparison 
Legends, and then we'll get into a little bit of articulation. And then for your Rhea Ripley figure comparisons, guys, here is the new Elite 84 Rhea Ripley up next to our three Ultimate Edition ladies, which you may be looking at four, or f if you put Bianca Belair in here, this is actually like all the best women's figures I think they've ever made. Like, that's that's a pretty good collection right there. Oh, Becky, no. Nonetheless, Ultimate Ronda, Ultimate Becky, Ultimate Charlotte, and you might be able to pair some stuff together, maybe. I don't know how interchangeable things are, but maybe some ult Ultimate Edition Charlotte arms on this Rhea Ripley. That would be pretty badass, or maybe Ultimate Edition uh, Ronda Rousey arms on there. I don't know how you interchange those. I'm not sure if that's possible, but if you could, that would be something to do. I think that'd be pretty badassery. If they would make all women's torsos, like, interchangeable, like the Charlotte, like, you could pop the shoulders out and put them in there, or pop the Becky shoulders out like this and put them in there, and then put her vest on or something. I think that'd be really badass as well, but let's get into her articulation. So, for this Rhea Ripley, guys, I think that, you know, she can't really look down or up, but she can do 360 mods all, all over the place right there for her head sculpt. Ab crunch is kind of non-existent. Like, she can lean back a little bit, but leaning forward, you're gonna have to, like, do this and, like, put the arm... Like, if she gets kicked in the stomach, you're gonna have to, like, bend her over and then put, you know, her arm on her stomach and, like, sell like that because you can't really get any ab crunch out of it. Shoulders go out. Shoulders go down. You do get the 360 bicep swivel. Her, her single jointed arm is decent. Like, she could probably still talk on the microphone, so that is good to know right there. Again, waist swivel goes 360. She is on ball joints because she's a women's figure, but her split is not as wide as I think some other figures have been in the past. Still pretty good, though. She can kick four pretty good. Double jointed knee is really, really nice. She does have the boot cut and everything. Just a figure that feels great in the hand. I mean, that's all I can really say. I will say the ankles are... Uh, she does have ankle pivot, which is absolutely beautiful, but they're a little bit loosey-goosey, which I don't like. But, you know, it's... Uh, I'd rather have ankle pivot and it be a little loosey-goosey to stand than uh, not have ankle pivot at all because if you don't have ankle pivot at all, it makes you hard to stand anyway. So there you go. More ankle pivot. But that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite Series 84 Rhea Ripley and Angel Garza review. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Overall thoughts on both is if you're a big Angel Garza guy, definitely track it down. If you want to expand your roster, if you want to make a tag team out of him and Andrade, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to pick this up. Maybe you need it for some custom parts or something. I think I would, if you're trying to like get, you know, the most current guys and, you know, update your roster, I'd say absolutely get it. And for Rhea Ripley, it's a no doubt about it. I love the figure. I love Rhea Ripley. If you don't collect women's figures, then there it is. But overall, I think both of them would be great fits into your collection with their posability and the accessories. The removable pants are really cool for Andrade. I don't know the limit on that, on like maybe you could use it for other things or other photo shoots or, or other things. I'm not entirely sure. But if you would like to grab either of these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. For today's random shout-out, guys, it is going to go to Super Ron, who says, I just love hearing the song at the end. Always has me singing, Brad. I agree, Brad. Really good, really good, uh, really good song. I enjoy it. You know, I'm, I'm constantly singing along with it. You know, I, that's why I put it at the end of the video. It's just a super solid song. I feel it, you know, it's... it's, it's sounds good and everything like that. If you guys would like a random shout out in a future video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and like the video for a potential future shout out. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Overall thoughts on these things are great. Stick around for the rest of the review. We're going to rank the rest of the set and go check out the Roman Reigns and Jeff review as well as everything going on. But thank you for watching and don't cross the line. You cross the line.